Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students and welcome back to the series of lecture on parts of speech. Today we are going to have a lecture number 14. Students, as you know that we are dealing with the kinds of verbs. Verbs are mainly divided into two parts, main verb and auxiliary verb. We have already discussed them earlier. Please go and check if you haven't already or need a revision. Links are in this description. In this lecture, we will be discussing one more classification of verb that is finite and non-finite verb. We are going to study in this lecture finite verb with examples, non-finite verb with examples, tips to recognize finite verb and difference between both. Lastly, you are going to have practice set based on MCQs. You all are requested to subscribe our channel so that you are going to get the videos in a go. Let's get started. So students, let's get started from finite verb. A finite verb is a verb that has a subject and shows tense. Let me tell you that finite verb is going to finite or limits its agreement with the subject, which means it limits its function to the subject's parameter. And there are three defined parameters of the subject. Number one is tense, number two is person, number three is number of persons. According to the tense, it is going to change with respect to present, past and future verb whereas according to the person it is going to change first a second or third person and lastly according to number of person it is going to change according to singular and plural verb so students let's see the examples john cooks carrots john is actually a subject cooks is actually a verb that is going to finite it limit to the john only Cooks is a present tense in this example. Next is finite verb. Examples. The thief escaped again. In this example, the thief is a subject, whereas escaped is a finite verb and it is the past tense verb. Next is Sarah is crying with joy. In this example, Sarah is subject is is a finite verb of the present tense whereas crying is present participle verb here now students every sentence means a finite verb the main verb in every sentence will be finite let's see the examples that how they are going to be finite verb number one is Rachel is happy in this example is is a finite verb whereas Rachel is a subject. Is is the finite verb of present tense and it is limiting its meaning towards the subject. Number two, he painted the fence. In this example, painted is finite verb of the past tense and it is limiting its function to the subject only which is he in this example. Number two, non-finite verb students as the name implies non-finite verbs are the verbs which are not going to show any agreement towards the subject's parameter they do not perform any function in a sentence specifically but they function as a noun adjective or adverb in a sentence in other words you cannot tell in a sentence that it is a present tense, past tense or future tense by looking at the non-finite verb. So therefore, non-finite verb can never be a main verb in a sentence. Let's see three major types of non-finite verbs. There are three types of non-finite verbs. Number one is gerunds. Gerunds are actually called as verbal nouns means we are going to take the noun and we will place ing after it to make it a verb so that's why it is called as verbal noun and it is always going to act in a sentence like a noun means it is going to answer us about what or whom next is infinitives 
there are two types of infinitives number one is simple infinitive that is going to be just placing two with the verb and next is beer infinitive we are going to deal these in a separate video next is participles there are two types of participle one is present means whenever a verb is taking in a present tense then we will call it as a present participle ing is going to place with the verb to make a present participle verb whereas past participle is we are going to take the verb and place ed at the end of it it will make part past participle or in irregular verbs they are going to be following irregular patterns next is tips to find a finite verb the best way to find a finite verb is to identify its subjects because it is limiting its meaning towards the subjects parameter if you can do that you are looking at a finite verb just to be extra sure you are also going to eliminate everything else that looks like a verb by checking for example is the word functioning as a noun and does an ing if yes then it is gerund and you are dealing with non finite next is is it preceded by two if yes it's probably an infinite it means that you are dealing with non finite next is 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 being used as an adjective if yes it's probably a participle or you are dealing with non finite verb does it follow an obvious finite verb is am um, was were has have to create a sense it means that you are dealing with a participle and it is non finite verb it means finite verb is always in a main verb and it is going to limit its meaning towards the set, towards the subject of the sentence why should i care about finite verb the answer to this question is very much simple if you are a native english speaker then it is highly likely that you are brilliant at using finite verbs finite verb causes few mistakes for the native speakers however if you are learning or teaching english then it's essential to learn about finite verb because finite verb is at the heart of every sentence and that finite verb will need to align with the subject and show the right tense it means that you are just going to figure out that finite verb is going to limit its meaning towards the sentence of the subject then it is finite otherwise it is if that acting like a noun adjective or the adverb it means you are dealing with non finite verbs let's have a look on finite and non finite verbs can look identical many of the students get confused that finite and non finite verbs are looking identical so here are the tips to recognize that don't forget that finite verb and non finite verbs are might look identical example is here to make you clear the concept number 1 is a look at roasted in this example they roasted chestnuts because roasted chestnuts were profitable these are two examples in first roasted is finite whereas it is telling the sentence in the past tense whereas in the second roasted is non finite because it is functioning as an adjective here uh, let's have a quick review of finite versus non finite verb the one point is finite verb forms x as a verb finite verb is always going to act as a main verb in a sentence whereas non finite verb do not act as a word in a sentence point number 2 finite verb acts as the main verb of the sentence or a clause whereas non finite verb acts as a noun adjective or adverbs in a sentence number 3 point is finite verbs indicate number person and tenses as i told you earlier that it is going to tell us the number it is singular or plural persons according to the first second and third list and tense according to the present past and future tense whereas non finite verbs do not indicate number of the person and tenses last point is finite verbs are used in a present tense and past tense 
whereas non finite verbs are infinitive gerunds and participles so students we have an overview of finite versus non finite verbs now students let us to strengthen the concepts number 1 i wish dash to your notice the faulty product you have recently launched complete the sentence by choosing appropriate non finite form of the following a bring b to bringing c to brought d to bring number 2 dash a loud sound the students rushed out of the auditorium complete the sentence by choosing the appropriate non finite form of the following a hearing to hear c to hear d heard third the police uh, constable saw a thief dash on a bicycle complete the sentence by choosing the appropriate non finite form of the following a escaping b escape c to escape d escaped number 4 choose the correct sentence from the following A Aisha is singing with her sister B beating the drums C trees fallen on the road D to swim in the pool Number 5 We can hear the class choir dash in the hall Complete the sentence by choosing the appropriate non fun from the following A practice B to practice C practiced D practicing Number 6 I tried dash a stain left by coffee from my shirt using a new cleansing agent. Complete the sentence by choosing the appropriate non finite from the following. A clean, B to clean, C to cleaning, D to cleaned. Number 7. Choose the phrase with the appropriate participle from the following. A My car collided with another car. B collided with another car. C to collide with. D colliding with. Number 8. I watched the mice scolding with a dash from. Complete the sentence by choosing the appropriate non finite from the following. A to worry. B worry. C worried. D worries. Number 9 choose the phrase with the gerund from the following A why do you ignore my warning B warnings ignored by her C to ignore warnings D ignoring warnings Now students pause the video here and mark your answers from 1 to 9 I hope so that you have been marked. Let's see the answers. Number 1 goes with D, number 2 goes with A, number 3 goes with A, number 4 goes with A, number 5 goes with D, number 6 goes with B, number 7 goes with B, number 8 goes with C, number 9 goes with D. I hope so that you have been done all right. If not then don't worry just play the video and get on the concepts i hope so that by practicing you will do it thank you